This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Welcome to the video where I talk about all things motion design and visual effects related. Um, basically this is a show where I talk about the latest news, plugins, presets, reviews, tutorials, pretty much everything going on in the industry digested into a very, very compact video um, that doesn't warrant its own video tutorial and stuff like that. So pretty cool stuff. Before we get started, I do want to mention that we are doing a giveaway. We're giving away five copies of the Handycam plugin by Plugin Everything. Basically it's an After Effects camera rig script that allows you to pretty much do a whole bunch of camera movements and rig things up properly and easily, um, saving you a lot of time. I did a review on it two weeks ago, um, so you can check the view out in the in the description down below but basically we're giving away five free copies all you gotta do is comment on that review video of the handycam review video and say what you like about the handycam or what you dislike about handycam and uh, i'll select five winners randomly on august 5th which is in about a week or so so stay tuned for that but basically we're giving away five free copies so you know fyi there so the first thing I want to talk about is LFO Design's Redshift 3D course. These guys are major VFX guys. They've been working in the industry for a while, and they've been working on a lot of cool projects like Avengers, Transformers, Interstellar, Iron Man, Thor, Ready Player One, Aquaman, you know, those kind of projects. So pretty big Hollywood films and blockbuster movies. And they've brought their knowledge into a course talking about Redshift and how to use it in Cinema 4D. So they cover a lot of things like setting up, you know, Redshift in general, how to use it, how to use it with Cinema 4D, um, basic procedural techniques, as well as how to use it with volumes and you know fluids and particles and stuff like that so they've done a really great job at kind of just talking about how to use redshift in general and if you've been looking for a course like this um, integrating redshift renderers with your 3d scenes um, this is a fantastic course especially since maxon now owns redshift so some of this knowledge would be very very useful um, in case they somehow integrate Redshift in the future. So, you know, check it out. It's a little bit pricey, but it is a very, very great course. And you're getting, you know, direct Hollywood experience, visual effects experience from Hollywood, VFX artists and stuff like that. So pretty cool stuff here. So a lot of you guys have been asking me for some startup tutorials and I've been meaning to do them, but it's a very, very extensive plugin, very, very, uh, powerful and robust plugin. So it's very, very hard to cover everything, um, in kind of one go or two goes. Um, so, you know, that will be coming soon. But in the meantime, uh, James, AKA Fried Pixels, has done a fantastic job at kind of showing you how to create some nice UI scan animations using OBJ files and how to, you know, set things up and, you know, render it and, look, and make it look pretty nice within After Effects using Stardust. He has a lot of fantastic animations, a lot of sci-fi stuff, a lot of particle work. So, you know, check him out, follow him on Twitter and Instagram. He's a very cool guy, major guy in the industry. I um, mean, he does some great stuff as well. So check him out, pretty cool tutorial using Stardust. I know you guys really like free stuff and Rocket Stock is giving us a free After Effects template for digital st distortion. It is a free download so you can download for free and they have pretty much nine different distortion effects. Um, so you can do like some noise, color boxes, flickers, tuning, turbulence, pixel bending and stuff like that. So it's a really, really nice preset. It doesn't look the most realistic, but with a little bit of tweaking, it can look pretty okay and pretty decent for a lot of cases, especially if you're doing motion design work and stuff like that. So it's a really nice, cool little way to add some quick effects some some quick digital uh, looks to your project without purchasing, purchasing any plugins like, you know, Red Giant Universe and stuff like that. And this would go pretty great with my After Effects uh, Dojo glitch script as well. So pretty cool stuff here. This next freebie is really, really cool over at premierepro.net. Basically, this is the Deadpool handheld camera preset. And these presets were actually made for the movie Deadpool. And these are actual real camera shakes. So these are actually shot with a real camera and tracked. And you can apply the same kind of handheld look uh, from Deadpool to your own footage, to your own composites, to your own animation, stuff like that. Um, it is a Adobe Premiere preset. It's GPU accelerated, it renders in real time, it's pretty cool. And basically this is a lot more realistic than, you know, having like a wiggle expression on, you know, your camera or your null or whatever. Um, this is gonna be more realistic, more organic, and a lot better than, you know, algorithm or computated kind of wiggle camera shakes and stuff like that. So this is a nice little way to add some handheld movements. Speaking of some camera shake presets, Premium B is also giving away 15 free camera shake presets for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Again, these are actually realistic camera shakes um, shot with real footage and motion track, so you can apply it to your shots as well. 
They have a lot of cool options here. They have 24 millimeter, 35 millimeter camera shakes, 50 millimeter camera shakes, 85 and zoom camera. And it's all for 4K and HD. And they have even subcategories for heavy movement, medium movement and light movement. So you have pretty much full control over the lens type as well as how much motion you want. And this is just another way to add some realistic camera shakes to your footage without using expressions and you know making it look all digital and you know too uniform. Pretty cool stuff here. Before we continue, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to make an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any code knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support. And best of all, you can use the promo code DOJO at checkout to save 10% off your order and support the dojos. Check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So I'm sure you guys have heard of the guy Beeple, AKA Mike Winkleman over on Twitter and Instagram. He's a fantastic and very, very creative 3D artist. And he poses a render on his social media accounts every single day. And like literally it is the craziest, coolest and weirdest things ever. But he's very, very talented, very, very creative. And he's a very, very funny guy. Um, definitely check him out and definitely check out his Twitter profiles. But basically for the NAB show 2019, he pretty much did a live demonstration tutorial on how he designs his cool 3D renders every single day. And he walks you through kind of how he, you know, go through the process of doing it in Max on Cinema 4D and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool video. It's recorded on YouTube. Check it out over on Cinema 4D by Max on YouTube channel. I also highly recommend checking out the School of Motion podcast where they actually interview Mike. It's pretty hilarious. It's full of, you know, nice insightful tips on life and everything else. So it's pretty cool. Check it out. The last thing I want to share with you guys is a motion design course by Andrew Vuko called 15 Steps to Master Your Process. And this is a course that I had the opportunity to watch and follow through. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is because this course is a little bit more unique. This is not a technical course that you would normally see on other websites. So you won't be really be showing you how to push around keyframes, adjust curves, you know, just easing, you know, crazy expressions and all that stuff. He does kind of show you through After Effects a little bit on how to actually achieve these kind of things. But this is not so much a technical course. This is great for people trying to learn motion design and learn the actual theory and art and direction of motion design. So if you already know how to use After Effects, you already know, you know, the, you know, how to push the buttons and move the keyframes and apply expressions and curves. You know, this is a great course for you because this will take your designs to the next level. You know, you'll actually learn the theory of motion design, you know, how to frame, compose certain shots, how to add the extra movement, how to add contrast and how to pretty much art direct and pretty much make your motion designs flow better. So. A lot of times we focus too much on the actual technical stuff, like how to do certain things, how to use certain plugins. And we normally don't take a moment to take a look at why our animations aren't flowing as well as they should be, or why our animation is kind of lacking in a certain department, but you can't really pinpoint it. And I think this course will kind of fill in the gaps for you. So basically cover um, pretty much how to tackle a project, time management, space and all that stuff, but also more conceptual stuff like rhythm and blocking, contrast and motion, you know, how to utilize color, how to control the speed and flow of everything, so on and so forth. So, you know, you can go ahead and watch the trailer of this course and see if this course is for you. This course is definitely not for everyone. You know, I wouldn't suggest this course for everyone. But if you're at that stage in time where you need the kind of fundamentals and theories and, you know, design principles of animation, this is a fantastic course for you. It's a little pricey at 225 US. So again, this course is not for everyone, but this is a fantastic motion design principles course. And if you sign up, I get a small kickback from your sign up. So check it out over at Vuka Motion Design. So that's pretty much it guys. This is all I have for you guys today. If you like the format of this video or you like this video itself, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in your comments down below what you think about all these resources, the freebie stuff, the tutorial stuff, all this stuff, Max on Cinema 4D, Redshift, all this cool stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And don't forget we're giving away five free copies of the Handycam plugin by Plugin Everything. Again, that giveaway ends August 5th. So check that out in the links down below. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be down below in the video description. My name is Vincent Nguyen from The Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.